He was told to stay away from Coronado Mall. Mm. Mm. Don't get caught in yeah. the mill there. Well, you guys, with daylight savings time gone, we're on standard time now. Yes, we so we started wondering with the shorter days, how long are our days and how do they compare to maybe areas? Just like a soap opera, the days of our lives. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Should I get the hourglass out? Uh -huh. All right, let's show you this right here. Do you want to live in Alaska? No. It's beautiful. Dick, can I finish the map? All right, check it this, out. It's this gorgeous. Could be a maybe for me. Let me see. Yeah, see, Jess is kind of, <laughs> Jessica would love it. Jess is kind of in on it. But this. she's from Wyoming. What I know. Expect? She basically. Is from Alaska. All right. On December 21st, our shortest day of the year, we get nine hours and 47 minutes of daylight. At its highest point, the sun is 31 degrees in the sky. Now, that's not real high, but it gives you an idea that we get a nice day even on December 21st. Well, how does that compare with Anchorage, Alaska, where they are seeing a huge storm off the coast of Alaska right now? Well, in Alaska, it's a little more interesting. They get five hours and 27 minutes wow. of daylight on December 21st. That doesn't sound that bad, but here's the thing. The sun is only five degrees high in the sky at the highest point on December 21st. <laughs> what does that look like? This is what it looks like from Anchorage, Alaska. Wow. Amazing stuff. Yeah, a lot of nighttime. So, Jess, you think about that. By the way, Alaska Resort, 40 miles from Anchorage. About 2,000 vertical feet. Pretty good place to ski. A lot of night skiing, though. 40 <laughs> degrees in the metro. Northwest winds, three miles an hour. Across the north, temperatures anywhere from the teens, even single digits in Alamosa. Down across the south, temps for the most part in the 30s. Relatively quiet for now. We'll go mostly sunny for tomorrow. Then eventually, we'll start to drag some more clouds in here. But the big story over the next three or four days won't be a storm. It'll be the temps. Today, we were in the 40s and 50s across the state. By the time we hit the weekend, especially later on on Saturday, 70s in Roswell, 80s in Carlsbad, 58 here in Albuquerque, which sounds fairly warm considering where we've been temperature wise. But our average for this time of year should be 59. So we're going to get close. To it, and then we're going to start to cool down again Sunday into Monday. Now, the reason we're going to cool down Sunday into Monday is another storm and track for this next storm will be key. We have two different tracks we're looking at. One shows this storm going well to the south. That would only give us some showers around the southern third of New Mexico and really not give us a lot in the way of statewide showers, but maybe the Gila and Sacramento Mountains could pick up a little bit of snow. Track number two is showing this storm coming in more into, say, the southern third of the state with a lot of precip pushing a little farther to the north. That would be key for the whole state. So if we can get this track, Track number two, this could be a good storm for the state, and that's what we'll be watching over the next couple of days. Region by region over the next few looks pretty good. Temperatures in the 40s across southern Colorado with a cold start and plenty of sunshine to wrap things up. Friday looks nice as well before that chance that the storm comes in. North and west, temperatures here, 40s and 50s over the next couple of days, really. And as we get into Saturday, 54, and then we start to see the chance of showers Sunday into Monday. South and west, sunny and mild through at least tomorrow, but even Friday and Saturday look pretty good, and then the chance of showers starts to go up in and around the Silver City area. Over to the southeast, sunshine here as well. Southwest winds, a little breezy in the afternoon, but still nice. 67 on Friday and 75 on Saturday. North and east, it'll be a little breezy with mostly sunny skies, but temperatures will be pretty comfortable after a cold start in many areas. Be in the teens. Over the northern mountains, single digits to start things off, and then warming up into the 40s, 50s around Espanola, and high 40s in Santa Fe. Out into the East Mountains, mostly sunny skies. West winds 10 to 15 with those temperatures in the 40s and 50s. And finally, right here in the metro, low 50s for tomorrow on the heights and foothills, mid 50s around Belen. Your extended forecast shows temperatures rising through about Saturday. And then we'll see if that storm rolls in, but at least we've got a shot Sunday into Monday at some showers. Okay, thank you. Sports is next.